Hey everybody, uh, another attack, this time in Manchester, and as usual the only good news is that there's now one less terrorist in the world. Seems that once again it was a lone nut job, although ISIS have claimed responsibility, which shows that they've got the same management claims all their credit problems that other organisations have, you know, we've all had jobs like that I suppose. Manchester's a great place though, in spite of George Osborne trying his damnedest to dilute its Madchester edginess with his unique brand of oddness. I always half imagine Gideon George looking out of his car and seeing people going to rave and hive his clothing and assuming that there were folk on their way to a conference about the Northern Powerhouse. It's also fantastic to see that Manchester's already erected a huge sign in one of the buildings to tell the world that they remain as one, you know, Manchester United. In the meantime, Islamic extremism remains a deeply complicated geopolitical issue, but let's all post some British flags on Facebook and see if that fixes a problem this time around. Uh, one last thing on the subject of the intelligence services was that today also saw the passing of James Bond actor Roger Moore and uh, raised an eyebrow, so to speak, um, when I remember that old classic that, you know, Viagra might not make you James Bond, but it will make you Roger Moore. Anyway, see you next week with better news, hopefully. Bye.